Hi there. Welcome. My name is Anna and I am here today with a little craft with me. Uh, if you have missed me, I can tell you that I have been totally floored by the flu uh, since Friday night. And um, today is Wednesday. Today is the first day that I even can talk again. <laughs> but so I will try to make a video uh, and I hope it will work. So, just checking that we're recording. Um, the few hours that I have been strong enough to sit up and do something fun, I have been working away on this. Uh, this, you might recognize this if you haven't have been here before, because I made a lovely little journal called Emma. A while back from another copy of this book that copy was a tiny bit bigger it was from 1882 this one is from 1869 so this is an earlier version this is more brownish not so much reddish in the colors uh, and emma is getting a sister her name is hedwig because uh, on one of the old pages i found a dedication for Hedwig Dydner from Elise. And that's how I know this had to be Hedwig. And this is going to be incorporated into the book as well. Somehow. I haven't decided how. But look at that handwriting. Isn't it gorgeous? I wish I could write like that. Uh, I have been doing some work off camera. I have gutted the book. I have... Reinforced the spine. I have reinforced the head and foot with some lace. And I have made the signatures and I have made some things in them. Uh, <clears throat> but today I want to work on the cover. I want to put in a um, I have to I want to put a cabinet card here. In fact, I want to put this cabinet card here. She is great. I think she's a head wig, don't you? Um, I want to glue her down and then put some brads in the corners. And I want to put some labels down here. Excuse me, I'm getting warm again. Uh, and I want to put the closure on. And I have a new idea that I haven't tried before, so that will be... I want to... Uh, film this and I want you to cheer me on so I don't do it wrong <laughs> uh, Let me just grab some stuff that we will need some glue and we will need some tweezers And I want to get my all Excuse me, I thought I had everything put together, but I didn't. Uh, but let's start with the easiest thing. Let's start with the labels. I have actually pre-prepared two. <laughs> I was going to, to um, do this off camera, but then I, nah, I want to do a film. I haven't filmed for a week. And uh, I thought that I would. I want you with me. I've been missed you guys. How are you all? I hope you are well. I hope you don't have the flu because it's not very much fun at all. <laughs> I get oh, my breath keeps catching just by talking. I didn't realize that. Anyway, uh, I will see if I post this video or not. If it's too horrible, I will not. I want to use those two and I want to start with the bigger one. This is a tiny, tiny book. I forgot to tell you. It's even smaller than Emma. Uh, it is uh, about not even six inches by almost four. So it's quite small. And you know me, I prefer the big books, but 
the Christmas, the little Christmas jam I just did, it, it kind of turned me around a bit. Uh, now I enjoy making small journals as well. So there will be both big and small. I will not stop doing big ones. I, I kind of feel the urge to do a big one. Now, um, I have one more book in the, in the line that I want to do. <coughs> and then I am going to make a big book again. I can't decide if I want a big square-wise, size-wise, or if I want a big one with a big fat spine. I haven't decided. Uh, but I am finished with my Christmas journals for this year. I have decided. The Christmas stuff is packed down and in a big box underneath my desk. But I can rest my feet, feet on if I like. So that's the labels. And that looks nice. Yes, quite pleased. Let's hide Jäger. I had decided not to cover up the entire spine because I kind of like this little viking or celtic knot thingy there and there so i just reinforced the top and bottom and i will put some ink on the edges of this little lady because she's a bit worn and torn i could have put gilding wax or gold um, on the pad but I did not. Now I put vintage photo instead. So that's how it goes. <laughs> I have cleaned this off. But as you can see, there are still some splotches here and there. Someone's old lunch, or maybe they turned an ink well over or something. Coffee. <laughs> but I don't mind. It will. It is what it is. And it's an old book, and that has to show, I think. Uh, I have been, while I have been in bed this week, I have been watching your videos. Many of you. I missed some people. Um, shout out to Carol at the Friendly Quail. Hey, stop you doing your Christmas decorating and please do a video. I miss you. <laughs> anyway, uh, this was just a little side joke. I have been watching your videos and got so much inspiration and I have, besides making this little journal, this is, what, I, this is one week's work for me, uh, now I'm sick, but besides that I have been doing a bit of ideas for my idea journal, just not to forget your lovely ideas. Do you have an idea journal where you put ideas on, on uh, journaling spots or page ideas or decoration ideas? I highly recommend it. Uh, I made one a year back, I think, a year and a half maybe. And uh, <clears throat> when I did, I, I just got an, uh, an old notebook that I bought that I was going to use as my daily journal once and then I didn't. And then I took the pages and tea dyed them and used them in my books, of course. But then uh, I just made uh, three uh, signature kind of quick thing and glued in, uh, sewn in. So um, now I can put all my little ideas in there. It's quite messy. I often use scraps when I do my ideas in there. And when I have done something, for instance, if I did a kind of pocket, I always write down next to it or in a note in a pocket uh, where I found the idea, who did it, if it was on YouTube or Instagram or where it was. And if I can, I also write down the date that they published it. Um, I think that is a cool, a nice way to be able to do a shout out then when you do it on the on camera, and so people know that it wasn't your idea to begin with. 
because I want to give credit where credit is due. And sometimes I have done something for so many years that I actually don't remember who it came from. And I have incorporated it into my own journaling practice. But if someone recognize something as their own idea or something, please give me a shout out. Uh, comment down below, I mean, and I can give credit. Let's see. Now I want to take my little knife and see if I can get rid of some of the volcanoes here so that the breads will go in easier. I think I also have to make the house a bit bigger, otherwise they won't go in. Uh, I have chosen the end papers for this book. I have, uh, have a bit of sewing left because I haven't had the energy to go sit by my sewing machine. Maybe I will in the weekend. Um, some other day. <clears throat> I will have one last thrift haul for you. Because now the auctions that I, that I won, uh, I told you last time we crafted together I believe, uh, they have arrived now, all of them. So I can do a flip through, flip through a thrift haul for you. So that will be coming up someday. Let's see what I want for... Hmm, excuse my head. <laughs> I don't want the big ones, I think, because they will take too much attention. I want a bit smaller, but do I want the, those or do I want... I don't want the bright golden ones, the tiny ones. I don't know where I got these. I think I got them in, in some kind of... No, I don't. Maybe those. Those are small. They even go through. It's a bit more rounded. I like that. Or do I want the little brass ones? They go very well with book. Book and deep. No, I want those. One, two, three, and two. Close that so it doesn't spill all out all over the floor. And another sip of water. I haven't been able to work all week. I have been lying in bed watching videos. And when I haven't been watching videos, I have been listening to audiobooks or sleeping. <laughs> because I have such pain in my body. But it's a bit sad because uh, last Saturday, I was going to have a competition here. Maybe I told you. I can't remember. But I wanted to challenge my two daughters in one team. And then my son and my eldest daughter's boyfriend should be in one team. And they should build gingerbread houses was my idea. And... Uh, oh, that one was broken. And when... Um, and they had to compete against each other, which, who did the best gingerbread house. And I had bought lots of stuff for them to decorate with and everything. And then I got sick. No, we won't come. <laughs> My eldest daughter said, we don't want to get sick. So all the stuff is left in the cupboard. But who cares? It can be used another time. And now my youngest kids and their father, my husband, are away on a camp in Orsa in Sweden. A ski camp with a club they 
train with and compete for. And is it called biathlon? When you ski and shoot, and also when they uh, do the just skiing. So they are way on. They, they went away like seven o'clock this morning. So it's me and the dog goes at home having a nice quiet time. So now I will be getting better soon, I think. Because it's just me, myself to take care of. Yeah. Because as I said, I couldn't stay away any longer from the video. <laughs> Once you start making videos, it kind of gets addictive. Addict addictive, <laughs> I think. Excuse my bad English. Uh, my Swedish has been taking over the past few days. Let me see. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. Isn't that cute? Oh, so happy. Now we just have <laughs> one last thing left. I am going to do a closure. And I have never done this before. I have seen it. Uh, on Instagram in a few places and it's a built-in closure normally when I had sorry silk like this and I love the fact that it's rugged when I had this I always always cut it in half glued it down here and then I glued the, uh, the end papers on top Let me just to get the end papers Oops. And then I glued the end papers down um, but I will not do this today, because this closure will go on the outside. So what I am going to do is uh, that I am going to slice open the spine. <laughs> this goes totally against everything we ever do. <laughs> we kind of, I have repaired the spine. I have put it in a new spine in here and I have put uh, fabric on it. And as you can see, it's a, it has been a bit cracked here, but if it cracks more, you can just see the fabric. But now I'm going to slice open, and then I'm going to thread this through like this. And then you have to do that before you glue the text block and put the end papers in and so on. Um, and then it kind of moves around behind the spine. So I am going to try this. <laughs> How about it? You want to see me try and fail? with this beautiful journal. Maybe I should do it first on another book. A practice book. Hang on, let me get another one. Give me a sec. I'm back. I just got cold feet, you know. Um, because I am so happy with this cover that I don't want to ruin it. But I have found this. Uh, it's a book that I started once and I never finished because I didn't want to know what, I didn't know what to do for a closure. But now I can do this closure. Um, so I have just put in a new spine and it's quite straight spine. But and this is going to be a naked journal, I think I have decided. Uh, but I want to do now is that I want to. Uh, measure the center and then I want to make a slice in the fold and on both sides and I can try to get some fabric through. Okay, let's do this. This is a totally random video, <laughs> nothing I would normally do, but uh, let's have some fun. That's the center. Suddenly I feel so much better chatting to you guys. That's the center there. Making sure I have another mat and cut away from your fingers for God's sake. Maybe you should do it from the outside. Yes. I have to repeat it. So I want to do it from the other side. Hmm? 
are you ready here it goes Tiny little hole. Yeah. Just the other side. No, oh, that didn't go through. It have to be a bit more vigorous, I think. Now comes question number two. How am I going to get my fabric through? I have ideas. I just want to get a piece of. I don't want to use the sour seed, but I'm going to use whatever. So let me just try with a strip of. Here's a small one. Let's try with this. Once again, I hand it in the tweezers. And I'm just gonna lay it flat and I'm going to push it through and pull it out. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> and of course it folded. So let's do like that. Have you tried doing this kind of closure? I'm so curious because I haven't seen it as much around. And then the whole thought is that uh, the cushion will go around and you can mold it. And that doesn't look too bad, does it? You could glue it to the spine as well, but I think that's cool. Yep, yeah, I'm going to try it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, before the daylight ends, because it's already getting darker outside. I can't believe it. Once again, I might want to do it from the outside, so I get a better sight. Remember to withdraw your carpet knife, or you can have bad injuries. Do about there. some cutting about there to there. This spine was not very hard to cut, I have to say. It was not very hard to cut at all. Yeah. Of course this is a book from 1960 something, 70 maybe, and this is from 18. 69 so this is quite a bit older let's do a little cut on this side as well yeah no problem there either and let's get the Sour silk through. There it comes. I'm so excited. <laughs> Trying something new on camera. Please, I can feel you cheering me on. <laughs> There's actually, uh, it's sewn. When you buy sour silk, it's quite often that they have sewn the strands together. Um, 
and this is a piece where they have sewn, as you can see here. And um, that doesn't matter because you can put the, the sewing in behind the text block and it will lay nice and flat. And when you glue down the text block, a bit of this will get glued down as well so that it won't uh, break. And if you get this book and you don't want this closure, then you just then you can just cut them off. Right? You don't have to keep it like this. You can cut it off from the outside if you like. That was easy. Let me see. Ooh, I quite like that. Let me get the text block and this will go into the press today because <laughs> as you can see it's uh, a bit <clears throat> full. I have been having lots of fun again. And then the idea is to do like this and tie a little bow. I am so happy. I am so happy. I couldn't be happier. That's one of the cutest books I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. Let's get these scraps here. Now I want to do something that I should have done before I put the text block in, and that is to put some washi tape over the brads so they don't accidentally uh, pull something uh, break something i mean and that it doesn't actually matter what washi tape you use at all it's it doesn't matter uh, i have this this is a fabric washi tape and it's not from tim holtz it's from system magrena i believe or maybe Panduro here in sweden and i'm just gonna use some of it because I know this is very sticky and I know that it's uh, safe to use and it's cute. Since I used fabric washi tape in my Christmas journals this year, inspired by Wendy, uh, Wendy's Journal Adventures and a few others, uh, I have become almost addicted to it. It's marvelous. Good. Uh, usually it sticks very well and it's pretty and you could use for instance a stapler you don't have to sew anything but you can staple it or you can just leave it as is or you can sew on it if you like and uh, I think that's quite nice it's a nice addition to a journal and yes it's a bit lazy but you can be lazy too. You don't always have to do everything extremely perfect. That's just the way it is. You have a choose choice. And this journal is actually almost done, to be honest, because uh, it's so small. It just has a hundred pages, five signatures. Um, my ordinary grungy theme, a bit vintage, vintage grungy, I would say. And uh, I think I could be posting a flip through this weekend or maybe earlier. So that is what we did today. We learned something new. Thank you for supporting me. It was lovely having you here. Great talking to you guys again. I've been missing it. Um, and that's why in papers. Aren't they cute? Look at that color. I, I think it's marvelous. And this is actually a Tim Holtz backdrop that I cut apart. And it gave me two end papers and another strip that will either be a belly band somewhere or a tag. <laughs> Uh, I am using up my stuff now. I am using up my stuff. Oh, this is so cute. Hedwig is uh, pampered and looking pretty, right? 
very pretty i love it thank you all for being with me today uh, i enjoy talking to you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, say hi down below uh, tell me what you think and uh, if you haven't subscribed already and you just got here welcome please subscribe it would make me very happy uh, i will be back with the thrift haul another day and i will um, talk to you guys soon i hope have a great day bye